We're here today with Ben Green from CoreSight, CoreSight a data center operator, and we're talking about the impacts of 5G on the data center business. So maybe uh, as a place to start, your views on how 5G is going to impact uh, the data center industry overall and specific to, uh, to your own business. Sure, thank you Sterling, we appreciate participating in this. Um, really when you think about 5G, um, what's going to happen with 5G, it's all about the end user application and the performance and throughput that is going to happen to that end user with whatever the services that they're using, whether it be gaming, whether it's remote healthcare, uh, some level of artificial intelligence, it's all about throughput that's allowing that breakthrough in technology to happen. And what does that mean in terms of the data center piece of that puzzle is uh, the leveraging of cloud and off-prem data center solutions will allow the cloud service providers, the, the service providers, content providers to push their, their services closer to the edge. Closer to the edge you are, the better your user experience will be. As uh, we all know, latency is the enemy of application and service delivery. Uh, further, further the edge you can get, the better you can be. And data centers are, are poised in every edge market now to really provide that level of service and deliver that throughput to the customer. So when I look at the, at the data centers, I kind of break it into two parts. What's happening within the data center and then the connectivity between the data centers. So kind of maybe take it in two parts. First, how do you see, you know, given 5G and what you've just described, how do you see the data center infrastructure inside the data center evolving to, to meet those new requirements? You know, uh, there's no real secret to data center. You've got to have great power, you've got to have great backup, great redundancy. So within the building, um, you know, there, there's a lot of great providers out there that can deliver a fantastic user experience with uptime and reliability. CoreSight, we're very proud of our 7.9's record of reliability, but the magic really starts happening, as you mentioned, with network, and the ability to take what's in a building and get it out to the end user. So the magic for CoreSight is interconnection and peering. And we have an unrivaled uh, match of those two services that allows the content within the building to get out to the end user without the right level of connectivity, interconnection to one of our 375 networks. It's potential that your content has to bounce the long way around to get to your end user versus being able to peer immediately on site, either with a direct fiber cross connect or through our peering platform or through our open cloud exchange virtual ethernet platform to get out to the end users as quickly as possible. So would you say then that the, the connectivity, the data center interconnect is really the biggest part that needs to evolve going forward for 5G? Uh, I think so. If you think about um, the push to deploy 5G towers, uh, micro cell sites, et cetera, everywhere we can put them, at the end of the day, that jumps back onto a fiber network, right? And it's going to make it way, its way back to a carrier hotel or a point of interconnection and uh, without that great fiber infrastructure and without that level of interconnection happening within a data center, I don't think you maximize your full deployment within that site. Right, so what do you say, you touched on it a little bit, you talked a little bit about the edge and we're spending a lot of time right now trying to figure out exactly how, what is the edge and what that's going to mean across different things. For me, one of the projects is to look at uh, the future of data centers and the edge. I'm sure you guys are looking at this quite a bit what if you can put your, um, I guess, you know, take your crystal ball out and, and uh, provide, you know, going forward strategy for data centers and, and for CoreSight again specifically, what, what does that look like with sure. moving to edge? What does that mean? You know, uh, edge means many things to different people, right? That we've, I've heard people coin phrases as extreme edge, far edge, user edge, metro edge, regional edge. Um, so I think everyone's got their own concept of what that means. For us, for CoreSight, we're in eight, major edge markets. Uh, for me, edge really means accessing the population, right? That's where are the people that we need to deliver our services to. Um, being in these eight major metros with our 22 data centers, I feel that we capture those edge markets very well. Uh, we can reach within five milliseconds of the population, the majority of the population from our buildings. So um, that's how we think about our locations, that we are in major edge markets and able to deliver the right speed and throughput and latency to the people within those regions. Interesting, so where you are, um, so the markets you're in, 
you essentially satisfy those edge requirements and then maybe going forward if you wanted to enter new markets then you would have new edge markets and new builds but you, you seem like you've satisfied what you need to do in the markets you're in right now. For now our, our customer base of the gaming companies, media and entertainment, content, cloud service providers, they're asking us to get deeper in the markets we're in, build more footprint, more scale, uh, because we marry that scale with our interconnection story and, and the marriage of those two components is what gives us the best performance for those providers. Great. Well, it's obviously a very interesting time to be in the data center business, and uh, I look forward to following CoreSight's progress going forward. And thank you for your time thank today. Thank you, Stone.